Algorithms Explained in English Welcome to the first video in my video series on Algorithms Explained in English. These videos assume no foreknowledge, so you don't need to know anything about algorithms to watch them. That being said, if you do know a bit about algorithms, I still hope to include something new for you to discover. With that out of the way, let's get on with this video by asking, what is an algorithm? An algorithm, in its purest form, is a set of instructions so clear as to be followed by anyone, in most cases a computer. They are usually written to solve a problem. For example, the problem of assembling a set of shelves can be solved by the algorithm of the assembly manual. The instructions in this are likely as simple as insert screw A into hole A. There's no room for ambiguity here. Anyone capable of identifying screw A and hole A, usually made even easier by the diagrams, can perform this action. What do algorithms look like? If you're to see an algorithm out in the wild, what will it look like? Well, in the above example, it could just be a numbered list of instructions. If these instructions are written like code, they could be called pseudocode. If you want it to look a bit more readable to humans, perhaps a flowchart is easier to read and follow. I'll be doing my next video on how to follow an algorithm given in a flowchart. Is that a real algorithm? In this series, we'll cover algorithms for even simpler problems than assembling a set of shelves, such as sorting numbers into order, or searching for a keyword in a string. This introduces another element to us called complexity. Put simply, not all algorithms are created equal. For example, let's go back to sorting numbers into order. How would you go about this? Sure, you could just do it in your head, but what are you doing? Sorting in loose terms. You could look through the list for the smallest number, take that back to the beginning, and then go back through the list for the next smallest and repeat over and over. Or you could simply consider the numbers in pairs and swap them around if the one on the right is smaller than the one on the left. But is one of these faster than the other? Well, that's an issue for another video entirely. Just know that not all algorithms are created equally and some can be better or worse than others. That's why there are usually several algorithms for each problem. Here's a recap. So, now you have an idea of what an algorithm is. It's a series of simple instructions to solve a problem. There are usually multiple algorithms to solve any single problem, and some are better than others. And that's it for this first video. I hope this helped clarify to you what an algorithm is. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much for watching. If you want me to color a different algorithm, let me know down in the comments. You can click here to watch the full playlist or click here to watch a different video.